Novi here from Rock and Ink MC. I'm here with Tales of the Tat, doing an interview with Tommy Henriksen of Alice Cooper. Here I have Tommy. How you doing, Tommy? Pretty good today. How you guys doing? It always feels good to be back in Long Island. Long yeah. Island, New York. Exactly. And Manhattan was great, so. And um, Tommy has a lot of things going on, and on, on, his, on a personal note, and um, tell us a little about what you have going on. Uh, I have a record that's coming out um, pretty soon. Uh, the single's probably going to come out in like the next month or so with a new video that was shot in Zurich in Switzerland by another Long Islander, uh, Richie Banks, who directed the video. He did an amazing job, this kid. He's just crazy skateboard kid. And uh, it's that and, uh, and a bunch of uh, other stuff, you know what I mean? I'm just doing some movie soundtrack stuff and doing a bunch of things like that. Josie and the Pussycats were trying to do this other thing, so there's a bunch of things going on. I'm just always trying to do something. Always keeping busy in the business. And, and being a dad. Right. You That's know right. what I mean? <laughs> Writing songs with, with my son on my lap and singing them and stuff like that was the best ever. So That's a great feeling, but right? Yeah. Having it, a kid? It's amazing uh, because uh, I've, you know, I've never been one of those guys who ever wanted to have a kid, but it was like just finally it just felt right. And, uh, and my wife is just the most amazing mom, and Finn picked the best parents he could ever possibly pick. You know, so it's good. So how, how was the tour going with Alice so far this year? Well, we, we started this tour, uh, we started in May. We've been out for uh, almost 11 weeks now. And uh, we've been on tour with Motley Crue, and it's been sold out like pretty much everywhere. And for me to be playing with Motley Crue with Alice because my days back in Long Island started doing a Motley Crue show. So when all of a sudden I'm hanging out with, with Mick Mars and Nikki Six and stuff, it's been really, really cool because they've been so nice and the tour is sold out and uh, they sound amazing every night. And Alice is just, you know, he sounds great all the time. And the band right now is just sounding great. And the shows have just been amazing. It's been like unbelievably well. That's great. Um... We're here with Tales of the Tat. Let's talk a little about some of your ink. So, when did you get started with your ink? Uh, my first tattoo, uh, it's over here, so it says honor thyself. Because uh, <laughs> I was always told I was selfish, so I went out <laughs> one day and just got a tattoo, honor thyself, around my nipple, my first tattoo. Which actually hurt a lot, too. And uh, that was the first tattoo I got. And then the second tattoo I got was this one right here. Uh, my friend Ray Gillen, who used to be the singer in this band called Badlands, and we were in a band together, Ron Danelli, back on the island too. And uh, this is kind of a memorial piece to him because he had this same tattoo. And it was done by Bob Roberts, I think. I think that's his name, out in Los Angeles. And uh, that was a special one for Ray. It's, you know, it's my way of honoring him, you know. And uh, I got my, let's see, a couple recent ones. Is this one right here? is uh, my wedding date that I got married in Maui, and that's when I got married in Switzerland. I'm still working on getting my son's tattoo, you know, his name tattooed all over me, but I just haven't any time yet. And, uh, and then a lot of artwork that I did myself, and my wife wrote this, I love you, that's, it's Ikliopti, which is uh, Swiss, Swiss German in English, it means I love you. And then um, this is a Jean-Michel Basquiat piece called Head, and a lot of this is uh, Basquiat. This is a uh, Peter Gabriel. This is a Peter Gabriel saying, which I really love. Um, I saw this online, and I really liked whoever wrote that. And then these are all my dogs that passed away. Um, more Basquiat stuff, because I'm just a fan of Jean-Michel Basquiat. That's Basquiat too, Repel Ghost. Um, and this one right here, Forever, uh, Jeff Pilson's daughter, Olivia, wrote me this really beautiful uh, wedding card to me and Sandra when we got married. She says, uh, I want and I wish you guys this love lasts forever. And I just thought that was really sweet. And I was like, you know what? I want to put that on there. And there's a bunch of other tattoos on my stomach that says not for sale yeah. back in my punk rock days. <laughs> but anyway, you know, you, some tattoos are out of boredom, you know what I mean? Some tattoos mean stuff, you know. But I, li I just like tattoos, you know. No, is there a tattoo that you regret getting? Your worst? Oh, yeah! <laughs> my tramp stamp on the back! <laughs> Don't even go there. It was funny, because when I did it, i never forget the girl, Julie. Juliet Yoni Tattoo. 
in Tarzana, California. She does pretty much every tattoo that's on me she's done, except for this one right here. When I was in my punk band, P.O.L., we were in Panama City, and I was like, I don't drink a lot, but that day I was like kind of buzzed. I think I had maybe two beers, and uh, I went in and I was like, I'm going to get a tattoo, and this guy drew this thing, and it, the lines are so horrible on that. That was one of those tattoos. I was like, all right, I'll live with it. But when I did the tramp stamp on the back, I was just bored because I've, I was going to get a whole back piece. But then when I realized, like, man, that motherfucker hurts, you know what I mean? So it's like one of those tattoos where I wanted to finish it, but I haven't got around to it, but it is an official tramp stamp right now. But I don't regret it because it's not finished. I just haven't had time to finish it because I want to do all these other things to it. But you can, like I tell everyone, Chuck and everyone always takes the piss out of my tramp stamp. So right now it's a tramp stamp, so eventually it's going to be part of a back piece. Yes, it's a <laughs> tramp stamp, but the, it's all Basquiat. It had all of these Basquiat images put together on my back, and it went down like that. And when uh -huh. Julie from Yoni Tattoo in Tarzana, uh, she does all my tattoos, and pretty much except for that other one I was talking about, uh, she just looked at me. She's like, are you sure you want to start here? And I was like... Yeah, let's start. So it was kind of funny. She laughed. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. So, yeah. the the CD, your CD's out. Getting back to that. Yeah. And um, you're gonna have the single and the video coming out soon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, the Alice tour is until the end of the year of 2014. Uh, dude, we're going into 2015 with this thing. Uh, with Cooper, we do we play. We have a month off. Uh, starting like on Monday, September 2nd, I'll be back in Switzerland and I get to see my son. I haven't seen him in 11 weeks and that's really hard. And uh, I get back there to see him and my wife and then we're back out like I think October like 7th, 8th, 9th, somewhere around there and then we're out till almost December and then we do this cruise in February. Mm -hmm. We're doing this like classic rock cruise and stuff like that. So. Okay, and then any plans on Tommy, Tommy, Tommy hitting the road? Well, that's the thing. It's like the, the plans for me are when I get back to Switzerland, right now the record's going to come out in Switzerland, Austria, and Germany. And, uh, and we're going to release a single, see how it goes. If we get some luck and some, you know, some, I don't know, some good vibes or whatever, and then all of a sudden we'll, we'll, we'll release it uh, in other countries throughout Europe because I want to start there because I want to build a story there. For me to try and get a record deal here is kind of like, really, Tommy? You know what I mean? So I figure if I get some heat over there, generate some stuff, then I'll come over here. And if uh, worst thing, I'll put it out myself. But that's why you can't get it on iTunes or nothing like that yet. But you will. But if you, if you come to the Al shows, Roxy, he's got the rock and roll parking lot. Nita's out there. Myself, Glenn, every truck. You know, we all go out there and we hang out with people. And that's how I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it like the old school way. Not this way. internet, you know, on the line shit. Go to the gigs, get the hard copy. That's why he's doing it. If you watch the interns, you'll get the joke on the line. There you go. Anyway, yeah. All right, great. Yeah, no. And anyway, uh, I'll see all my buddies. You know what I mean? And, uh, and we're playing the garden. October 2nd. Uh, no, October 28th. October 28th, New York, Madison Square Garden. Which, that's what I wanted to say. It's like, the coolest thing, it's like, you know, for me... The first concert I ever saw at Madison Square Garden, I think Conrad Pellucci took me, this guy from the neighborhood, and my mother didn't want me to go. She's like, yeah, I don't like those guys with fucking drugs. And so, and it was The Who, with Kenny Jones, when Keith Moon just died, and he came in to fill in, and I saw The Who at Madison Square Garden, and I also think Conrad took me to see Kiss, the Dynasty tour. Mm -hmm. But my first concert was... Uh, Van Helm and Sabbath, but, and just to go to Madison Square Garden, I've always dreamed about playing there, and it's like one of those things, it's like to do it with Motley Crue and Alice Cooper, man, it's, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty amazing, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm so thankful that, I'm not going to say I'm thankful and blessed and all that hashtag bullshit that these people write, it's like, you know, feeling great, it's like, whatever, dude, you know what, man, I'm just thankful that, you know, you work hard and shit happens, that's all I got to tell you. Yep. And it's happening. It's a good good road you're taking, and I wish you luck with Thanks. the CD, the new yeah. CD, and we'll see what happens. That's it. You just got to just throw it out there, man, and keep on moving. Because if you're not moving, man, forget it. Just move. That's what I got to say. All right, I'm here with Tommy Harrison, Tales of the Tat. Take it easy. Later.